guys, I finally decided to make a version 2 of the Cyberpunk Thermal Arasaka Katana. And this one has quite a few major differences that were bugging me with the version 1. So let me just point it out. Obviously, version 1 is this one and this one. This one and this one. And it has katana sheaths as well. And these are the sheaths for version 1. And obviously, this and this is version 2. So the biggest problems that I had with version 1 is the diffusion. So if you can see, I'm very sure you guys can see that the LEDs are very very obvious. You can clearly see the LEDs. I don't like that at all and that was bugging me for ages. I was trying to find different ways to diffuse it. So the biggest thing that I changed with version 1 to version 2 was the LED itself. As you can see, you can clearly see where the LEDs are and it was bugging me a lot. And as you can see here, they look amazing. You can't even tell that they're LEDs. It almost looks like an EL wire, but it's actually not. It's these different LEDs. So for version 1, I use these WS2812B, I believe they're called. Now these have 60 LEDs in total per meter. And they have a 5mm by 5mm SMD. Whilst we're looking at the new one, the new one has 144 SMDs per meter. Now the strip itself is rather wider, so it's 8 millimeters in total, whilst the first one is 5 millimeters wide, same as the actual SMD. So yeah, the spread is much more even, uh, the SMD is much smaller and more consistent. There, there's more per meter basically. These are called SK6812 and the SMDs are 35 by 35 millimeters. So in version 1, I believe there was only around 42 pixels, whilst in the new one, there is 96 LEDs in total just for the blade itself. But the really cool thing I've done was I actually added pixels in here as well. So there's 96 pixels here and then it goes all the way back inside and adds 38 more pixels. So the first pixel is 66.5 centimeters plus 26.5 centimeters up here, totaling 134 in total. Now this area is really cool as well. So here I added in Japanese Cyberpunk Arasaka Corporation in Japanese. And you see it goes through both sides as well. So the pixel strip ends here and then you add wires that go back into here and then continue into another pixel strip here. Now you aren't forced to use all the pixels if you don't want to. For example, if you want to have that off, you can easily do that by changing the amount of pixels you use in the app. So for example, by default, this is 134. And if we change it to say 96 and we'll click on OK, they go off. See that? That's really cool. And then you switch it back to 136 if you want. Or was it 134? Done. OK. They go back on. And you can go in between if you want as well. So go back into the app. Say 120. OK. Just cuts off there. It's really cool how you can just mess around with that. Change it to any color you want, of course, as usual. So because I needed to use a different LED strip for the blade, I had to change the blade around a little bit. So it is a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. So let's have a look at it side by side. Now they are very, very similar, but there is a few differences. So if we look at it from the side, can you tell? Actually, let's turn them off for a bit. So can you guys tell? Version 2 is here, version 1 is here, so you can slightly tell that it's very very tiny bit thicker and a bit longer. To be honest, I really like the longer look because it makes it much more prominent and I made the tip pointier as well. So you can see, look at it from the side. It is more rounded, this one's more pointier. I much prefer that as well, so check it out with them on. Yeah, I much prefer that, look at that. And I just love that you can't see the individual LEDs, so it's so much better. Now there is something very important that you guys need to know about these version 2 blades. Since they are using 134 pixels in total, that is going to require much more current to pass through the battery. The camera battery that we're using in these blades, they have a limit of how much wattage they can output or amperage. Not voltage, the voltage is set to a limit uh, and it doesn't go past that of course. What that means is, if we are running these blades at 100% light power, they are going to eventually start cutting out. Okay, so I'm connected to this uh, Black Katana version 2 and at the moment I have the brightness set very low. 
Now, what this can withstand is around 50%. However, if we turn it up to 100%, watch what happens. See? It is going to start cutting out and it's going to start resetting. This is because obviously the battery can't keep up with the wattage and we're in a bit of a pickle here because it's turning off on and on repeatedly. We can't really connect it back to the app because as soon as we connect it, it's going to disconnect. So the only solution is, is to connect to a power source that has higher wattage output. So remove the battery, get your DC plug and make sure that it is set to 5 volts. If you go any higher than 5 volts, you will most likely fry the LED strip, which I have done in the past by just being stupid. So I've got to plug this into the mains and plug the DC connector in. So now it can run at 100% power 24 seven. I have this set up in another room as a display piece and it's just working perfectly. So let's go back into the app, find refresh the list, black version two, let it connect, see it's connected successfully, enter it, and now you can reduce the power. So you turn it off. So, as I mentioned, these batteries can only withstand around 50% if you use 134 of the pixels. If you reduce it to say 96 pixels, it could probably withstand 100% light output with the battery. But yeah, do remember that batteries have a limit to how much they can output. But for now, I'm just going to leave it on 50% because that is more than enough output. I mean, look how bright that is. That is just so bright. It's ridiculous how bright it can go. Another thing that actually impacts this as well is the color that you use as well. So if you set the color to white, it obviously combines red, green and blue together to get the white output. That is going to require more power. So that may drain the battery quicker as well and start causing the controller to reset. I also done some tests to see how long these batteries actually last. For example, say I'm shooting a short film and I want to use this in a film setting. I want to know that these batteries are going to last. So I tried this blade, version 2, with all the pixels turned on to red, and brightness 50%, and it stayed fully on power for an hour and 40 minutes, and I've done this around 3 times, and the results were similar, so it lasted around an hour and 40 minutes, and that was at around 50% brightness. If I increase the brightness to around, say, 75%, it will go down to around an hour and 10 minutes. And I tried this test multiple times, of course, and the results were similar. I also tried these similar tests with animation presets. For example, this animation and the last pretty much the exact same time, around an hour and 40 minutes. Version 2 of the sheath has a few changes as well, so let's have a look. Let's put the blade in. Now let's compare this one to version 2. You can see much more of the blade being lit up, and that is because the letters are actually much larger now. Also, since the tip of the sword is rather pointier, I have extended it by around one centimeter. You can see it ends a bit further down. And I still love the effect that you can get if you use transparent white. So you see the blade is on and we can see the blue shine through. I find that really cool. Now what I'm doing this as a release for my Etsy, I am actually combining everything in one package. So I'm including both version one of the blade, version two of the blade and the katana, both versions. So you get everything and you also get all these little tutorials that I made that are up on YouTube. But if you want them downloaded on your local hard drive, it will be available all to you. Now version one is still going to remain on Etsy at a discounted price. So you can get it as a budget option, but I just really wanted to put something together where you can just have everything in one combo.